Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate social media posts with Zapier, guys. So if you're actually tired of manually posting on all your social media platforms, don't worry, guys, you're on the right place. I'm going to show you how to automate this. And it's really easy and simple, guys. So Zapier, if you don't know already, it's a powerful automation tool that connects your apps and streamlines your workflow. So how this is how you set it up, okay? So first things first, of course, you want to sign in. Okay, I'm already signed in to Zapier. If you don't have one, head over to Zapier.com and sign up. It's actually free to get started. I'm on a free account right now. And they gave me about, I think, 14 days of a free trial also gave me. So you can try that as well. So once you're logged in, what you want to do is you want to click on the Create button right here. Okay, click on this. And then, okay, once you click this, click on Zaps. Okay, we're going to be setting up a trigger app. So for example, for this tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose Google Sheets right here. This is going to be my trigger app. Okay. So why I'm using Google Sheets. So we're going to use this to post content. So we're going to choose Google Sheets. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to set the trigger to new row added. Okay, let me do that new row. Okay, so at the bottom of the spreadsheet, I'm going to choose this one right here. Hold, hold. Okay, I want you to choose this one. You want to choose this one. So when a new row is added or modified in a spreadsheet, choose this one, the instant one. Okay, the last option right here. And then you want to connect your Google Sheets. So come here and, and, and sign in. We're going to be connecting our Google account. And we're going to authorize our Google account to connect with Google Sheets. So I'm going to connect my Google account right now so it can see, edit, create and delete all of my Google Drive files. Okay. And also all of my Google Sheets, spreadsheets. So I'm giving it access to my Google account right now. So I'm going to press on allow. What you can do is if you don't, if you having privacy concerns, you can create a new, uh, well, Google account with just to do this for Zapier. Okay. You can do that. I'm going to press allow right now. Okay, I've allowed my account. Now we're going to be using uh, Google Sheets. So next we can do is we can click on continue right here. And of course, guys, what you can do is you can select the spreadsheet where you post the details like captions and links. And Zapier will basically track any new rows will be added to this sheet okay you can go ahead and test the connection as well if you want let me press continue for now let's do configure and see the other options you can choose the spreadsheet so you can choose the specific uh, spreadsheet so let me go ahead and create a new spreadsheet okay i created one right here zap here so i'm going to choose this spreadsheet i'm going to go and let's click on uh, refresh results so we get this new spreadsheet I made right here. I'm going to choose this and worksheet value sheet one. That's okay. Trigger is any column. Okay. So any results that were loaded, will do that. So we can go ahead and test this. If you want, you can test the trigger. So they'll find the recent spreadsheet rows to your account. For example, let me type something here. Let me type test. And now we can do a test trigger. And then now it's currently testing. And then what we can do is it's saying a new spreadsheet row was found. So we have to create a new spreadsheet row in our account and try again. So let's do this again. Test two. Right there. Then we're going to test this trigger again to confirm if our spreadsheet was set up correctly. And as you can see right now, guys, they have found records in Google Sheets account and it's showing that we have had test two. So basically it didn't pick up the first uh, test. So here we can name a column. We can name this column. For example, I can name this post content. So any content, so this is post content. So anything I type on the next rows will be posted on whatever social media platform I want it on. For example, Instagram, Twitter, so I can continue with the selected record. Let's continue with this. Now, what do we want to connect this to, guys? Okay, we're going to be choosing now our action app. 
For example, we need to pick something like uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Let's pick Twitter as an example. Right now it's called X. So let's search Twitter X. Okay, let's just search Twitter. They don't want us to type only one letter. So we're going to search for Twitter. Let's see. Let's see if Twitter is still here. Because they removed the name Twitter. Maybe we'll, we'll just connect some other app then. Because it seems that... All right, Twitter. Well, they don't want us X Twitter. Let's try X Twitter. That shows up. Okay, that still is not showing up, guys. So I wonder what happened with that. So let's do Instagram. We're going to do Instagram, guys. So we're going to choose Instagram for business. So Instagram for business is the action app. So in the action setup, what you're going to do is connect your Instagram account, and then we're mapping the content from our Google sheet to the tweet, uh, well, posts, Instagram posts. So for instance, we want to map this uh, post code uh, content column into the <coughs> index field. So the action event is we're going to be, uh, for example, publishing a photo or text to our, our Instagram. So we're going to sign in to our account right now. Let's sign in to our Okay, we're just going to sign in to our Facebook uh, well page, which is connected to our Instagram account. There we go. There we go. Now we can configure this. So we're going to do Pioneer Legend Instagram account. Photo, we're going to choose right here. We're going to choose the column. So we're going to choose uh, anything in column A. That will be the valid. And then we can insert a caption. Please follow. Well, please like. <laughs> we'll do please like, and then you can run a test, okay? To see if it actually works, and then they should uh, post it. It's really easy and simple, guys. So we would post a link, because right now we don't have a media file on Google Sheets. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to change this to Google Drive. Since first I wanted to do, of course... I wanted to do a uh, Twitter, but now we can't do that. So we're going to do Google Drive instead. We're going to choose event when a new file in a folder. I'm going to make a folder real quick. Okay, so I'm signing into my Google Drive right now. I'm giving it permission. So the good thing is now you also know how to do this with Google Drive, right? So you can apply the same concept with different things to set it up. So I have used Google Drive. I'm going to configure this. I'm going to choose the a drive value and the folder. Let me do this real quick. So for the drive, I'm going to choose my Google Drive and the folder. Let me choose that. So the folder is Zapier test. And then what I'm going to do is uh, we okay for included deleted files. We're going to keep this. So now we can do a test. We can run a trigger. So let me go ahead and post something right here in Zapier test. Let me put something right now. Okay, guys, I'm going to post this image of the Apple right here on Zapier test. And we're currently uploading this. And then we're going to go ahead and test this on Zapier. So I've uploaded that. So I'm going to test the trigger and see. It says no file has been found in our account. So I'm going to post something again. Hopefully it works this time. I'm going to post this here. This is a PowerPoint. Never mind. Hold on. Let's post another image. Let's get this Ford logo. Post this on our Google Drive, and then we will test it again. We'll test the trigger, and this time it should work. Okay, there we go, guys. We have the file. We have a file B. We're going to continue with this sele selected record, so it picks up for us. So now the test works. We know that the test works, and it's really that easy and simple. So every time, now we can come here and test again. On, uh, We can retest this. So since we've already connected, so we have to change a uh, photo. So we change here, come change this to Google Drive. After we move this, and then we're going to change this to our Google Drive. So new file in Google Drive, we're going to paste the actual uh, post, okay? We're going to take the post and we're going to share that actual post and we're going to... There we go, guys. We've changed this to file. So we're going to post that file on Instagram. 
and it's really easy and simple you can just go ahead and uh, test this out now we have the photo has picked up right here as you can see and the caption will be please like okay so it's really that easy and simple guys and you can go ahead and publish this to your instagram and it's going to publish right there so it, there we go guys it has published our post this picture right here a forward logo to my instagram profile so of course you can expand this automation by adding more platforms like instagram linkedin you know twitter facebook and you can even schedule posts guys using tools like buffer or later and with zapier guys you can save time and you can ensure consistent uh, social media activity without the hassle of you know manual posting so you can also do some scheduling like that so i hope that you found this guide helpful if you did guys and appreciate the in-depth tutorial make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribing to smart solutions and i'll see you in the next one